I always wanted to create and kind of like do my own thing. I didn't want to be in nightclub bands. I didn't want to cover songs. I just wanted to do original music. Ladies and gentlemen, from Oakland, California, the East Bay Kings of Soul, Tower of Power! I was listening a lot to, you know, Zig with the meters and, you know, the James Brown guys and, you know, Purdy and, you know, when Purdy came along, I really was struck by the precision and all that other stuff, you know. And so I kind of took all these drummers that I liked and tried to make one drummer out of it, you know. And so building grooves and all that stuff, I started listening to uh, Purdy a lot and really kind of dissecting his playing. I'd put the record on and I'd see if I could just pick out the hi-hat part, right? And I think I got that, and then I'd try to pick out the snare drum part, you know, that kind of stuff. The Soul Side Ride comes from the title of our new recording on the Soul Side of Town. So we thought that that would be kind of a cool thing to name a symbol. So this one has really great stick definition, beautiful bell, sound, you know, man, those are things that I really like in a cymbal. The, the stick definition is really nice. In the middle of all this space, you can hear it doesn't get buried. I joined the band in 1970, July 23rd, actually. And um, the Bay Area was a real interesting place. With, uh, they had all these kind of scenes going on, you know, different kinds of music. And so, you know, Tower of Power was just a product of the scene there, you know, because there are other bands like that, you know. When we started, you know, you kind of don't think about how long it's going to go, you know, when you're young. I joined the band, I was 23. It's, uh, for me, the coolest gig that I could have ever had in my life, seriously. Ooh. 